So let me try to draw a picture that might help understand kind of how, how we're setting things up as we start our implementation of a hash map. And so, you know, one approach to this problem would be essentially to set up one list with all of our mappings in it, right? So we could essentially kind of the way that we did with the linked list, because we don't know how many mappings are going to be in the map. So it's hard to use an array for this. So we could set up a list. Um, and when we added a new mapping, what we would do is we would go through the list one item at a time to see if it already contained a mapping for that key. If it did, we would need to change it. Um, otherwise, we would add a new mapping at the end. And that's a completely legitimate way to do this, is with a single list. The problem is, as we add many, many, many items, this list gets very long and it becomes slow um, to use a single list, okay? So another option would be to use, to try to use a single array, right? So let's imagine that I have an array um, and I create some spots for each. So these are my keys and that's a mat and these are the values. Now the problem is what do I do if I have a collision? So let's say I have, you know, only this array only has six slots in it. So it's not gonna last very long, right? I, I'm gonna put an item in here, right? That's my first mapping, and then maybe I get lucky and the second mapping is here, but then pretty soon I'm gonna have a collision and then I'm gonna have to figure out what to do about that. And there are approaches that allow you to use a single array to handle collisions. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna try something different, which is that uh, we're actually going to combine these two approaches together. grab some additional paper here. The cat really wants to get on the laptop again. <laughs> hey, you want to help? What do you think? Here, come. Everybody, come see. You're going to help them? Oh, come on, scoop. All right, so, so here's our... <laughs> All right, no, you can't be there either. You're in the way. So here's, here's what we're going to do. And this is kind of cool because we're going to try to get the, some of the benefits of both the array and the, the list. <laughs> a cat butt and frame. Um, so rather than having a single list or a single array, what we're going to do is we're going to create a single array of a particular size. And then what we'll do is we'll have lists hanging off from each spot at the beginning of the array. So every slot in the array is going to point to the beginning of a list. And how many items are on this list can change depending on the items that are in the map. So when we add things to the map, what we'll do is we'll first choose a bucket for the item. And it's important that we do this consistently because when we look things up, we need to look, know which bucket to look up. And so this is the place where we're going to uh, use hash code. Um, hash code is going to help us select the bucket for a particular item uh, as we insert it or look for it in the map. So let's say that we take the hash code and we mod with the size of this and we get four, right? So we start, well, four would be here, right? So we start in slot four and we start looking through the list that's in that slot. And let's say the list has two elements in it like this. So we walk that list looking for an item that has the key that we're looking for. If we find one, we're golden and then we just change the value. If we don't find one, what we need to do is add it. And so we can add it here, or the other alternative is to add it at the beginning and, and shift everything down. So we, what's cool about this is that we kind of have this interesting combination of two data structures that we've seen already. These linked lists, because every item in the array points to a link, the start of a linked list, and we also have an array. And what we'll see is if we make the array really big, we get certain performance benefits for our uh, for our hash table, but it also consumes a lot more memory unnecessarily. If we make the array smaller and smaller, what we end up with is something that looks a lot more like a single linked list, which will still work, but it gets slower and slower to do uh, lookups and to do insertions. Um, so that's kind of the trade-off here. And th th this is sometimes known as a, you know, a, a linked list hash table uh, because you know, it says it's a combination of a table, right? but then also these link lists hanging off of it. So that's how we address collisions. When we have a collision in our hash code, we just add something to a list. Um, that gives us kind of, th this approach gives us a little bit of a mixture of the performance benefits of a linked list versus an array.